Yo guys, MJ Designs here and it's another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be showing you how to install fonts and brushes off the internet into Photoshop. Alright, so let's get started. Um you're gonna need to go onto the internet and onto a font onto a font site called dafont.com. I'll leave the link in the description for you and the met there are like hundreds of fonts here and you're just going to select one you like I'm going to use this one in the tutorial today and you're just going to head over to the download button and it should download in the download bar if you're on window if you're on um, internet explorer it should download it it should um, save into one of your folders but then you're just going to open it up and drag it to your desktop you're going to right click and click extract files you might need WinRAR extractor for this, so I'll leave that link for the download in the description as well. So once you've um, extracted that folder, it should come up on your desktop, and it should have your true type font file installed. Next, you're going to go over to Control Panel, um, Appearance, Personalization, and down to Fonts. Now on Windows 7, it's pretty easy. You just you just drag it in, really. Sorry about that. You just drag it in. Um, Windows XP, I've already got this installed so I'm just going to click yes to replace it. On Windows XP however, you need to click install font. So when you click that, obviously an open window pops up and you're going to select the font and where it's downloaded. Um, and that just does that for you. Whereas on Windows 7 and Vista I think, you just drag it in. Alright, so exit that, open up a new Photoshop document and you're going to select text and my text is already, already selected but if yours isn't sc scroll down the menu and look for it um, yeah if you if you download the same font as me it should be called res All right, I'm going to make a new text and that looks alright um, now I'm going to I'll just add some layer style just to make it look that little bit better um, just add some inner shadow and that, that'll be there alright so basically that, that's your font done easy as that next you're going to go over to brushes you're going to go over to a site called brusheasy.com I'll leave that link in the description as well and you're going to select a brush you like on this tab here you do many others, you do textures, photoshop documents, shapes, styles, gradients and patterns but if you want brushes click brushes now you're going to go and download the file and if this window pops up click just let me download the file I'm not a frequent user and it should download in the bar below alright so you're going to need to minimize that and drag it once again to your desktop right click and extract files click ok and if another folder should pop up once that folder's popped up you're basically done um, so you're going to click the um, brush tool, sorry, go over to this, click this little tab and click load brushes. You're going to go to desktop where it was extracted and click the file folder. Click the ABR file and click load. Alright, so what this does is it adds all the brushes you just installed onto the brushes tab and now they are available for use I'm going to add a gradient to my brush but you don't have to do that if you don't want to um, I'm going to add a nice red and obviously go with the black um, and that should be that I'm just going to change the size of it make it a little bit bigger um, that's that really. It's not the greatest brush in the world, but it'll do for now. Um, looks quite nice. Um, this one's quite elegant, but there are many other brushes. There's Sparks, many others. Um, this one. Yeah, as, as I say, guys, it's just a basic tutorial. Um, it will help a lot of people, so if it has helped you or helped your friend or something like that, just please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I will be bringing more advanced tutorials out later on by request. But at the minute I'm just going to stick to the basics and help quite a few people out. 
with quite a few frequently asked questions to be honest alright guys so tutorial is just about finished so if I've helped please click the thumbs up and the